Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So first of all, I just want to say I am so sorry for being so MIA for the longest time. It's been about two weeks since I was kind of around and had a video up and I wanted to explain why. And basically, um, I embarked on this massive journey that turned out to be much bigger than I thought it would be and that is completely redecorating my apartment and I thought it was just going to be a couple quick things and it turned into painting seven rooms and a bunch of furniture and <laughs> learning how to make chalk paint and painting furniture and chairs and all this crazy stuff, a lot of shopping and all that sort of stuff and I'm the kind of girl where like I can't start something and not finish it right away I'm very determined and so it was very difficult for me to start that project and then not finish it right away. So I ended up devoting myself completely to that project so that I could finish it and then move on from there. And of course, at the end of it, just when it was about done, I ended up getting sick. So if I do sound a little bit off, it's because I'm recovering from a cold. I am still a little bit sick. But that is why I've been so MIA, and I know I've missed a couple of weeks, a few videos, and the time for October Favorites has passed. So I thought instead that I would show you the products that are currently in my everyday go-to makeup bag. I carry one little bag around for my everyday purposes, and it is this bag right here. And this is a bag from Tori Birch. I don't know what the name is. This was a gift from one of my very best friends, Monique, who I know is watching, so hi, Mo. So um, this is one of my like absolute favorite makeup bags. It is like plasticized, so you can clean it, and it holds a bajillion products, and it's got little compartments too, so it's really great. So I thought I would show you the products that I am currently using on the daily and absolutely loving. So let's get into it. So starting with base products, I've been absolutely obsessed with two primers. The first one is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and the second is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in Hydrating. And I love these both because they are hydrating, basically. My skin is super, super dry from being sick and also super, super dry from the weather changing. So I really wanted something that was nice and hydrating, but I also wanted to keep the glow that I really love. So this one is absolutely perfection for that because it is really gorgeous on the skin, it feels lovely, it's nice and hydrating, but it gives you that glow at the same time. And then for those days that you need a good, good, like, dose of moisture, basically, I love to mix them. Like, maybe a pump of this and a half a squeeze of this, mix it together and apply it all over, and it's just like the most gorgeous feeling on your face. Your face feels nice and quenched and, like, really happy and... It's just a really good thing. And then your makeup applies beautifully over it because your skin is really happy. So these are my two favorite primers of the moment. Moving on to foundation, I've only been using one foundation for the past maybe like two months, I've got to say, maybe two months. And it is the Maybelline Superstay Butter Skin Foundation. And mine is in the shade 10 Porcelain Ivory. I really like this foundation because it gives you nice full coverage, but it looks authentic like it, it looks like real skin and it's not too heavy it doesn't feel too heavy um, you get that full coverage kind of appearance but without the cakiness or the dryness or any of that so I've really been enjoying this my other favorite foundation is the L'Oreal Pro Matte but because my skin is so dry I cannot use that at the moment so I am loving this and I love that there's a pop there are two concealers that I've been loving for the last little while and using pretty much on the daily. And the first one is the NYX Dark Circle Corrector. I'm not that big of a dark circle person. I don't really have that much of an issue with it. But when I am lacking on sleep from being sick because I can't breathe, <laughs> um, this stuff is really, really helpful. I have it on today. I just apply a tiny, tiny bit just right in the inner corner of my eye and then I set it quickly and then I apply my concealer over top and it really makes the hugest difference and I love this. It it's basically just a nice cream concealer, but it is orange, and I have it in the shade medium, which I feel like is a really good kind of medium shade. The light shade was just a little bit too fair to kind of have the power that an orange concealer needs, and the other one was just way too dark for me. 
So this one is absolute perfection. Then the concealer that I have been placing over top of that one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. <laughs> um, you would have seen this in my massive Sephora haul and I have been absolutely loving it. It is such a fantastic concealer and apart from just being great in the terms of coverage and wear and all of that, the applicator, I don't know what it is about the applicator but it makes me want to apply it. It just feels good. I like it. It's nice and cooling, kind of. So this has been fantastic, and I've literally used this every single day. I might need to get a few backups. So then to set all of that makeup, I have, been, of course, been using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder under my eyes. But for the rest of my face, I've been using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, and this is in the shade Luminous Light. This is just a really gorgeous light champagne -y powder. It's super kind of sheer and doesn't really give off that much color, but it does give off a little bit of a radiant glow, and that's what I really like. It sets my makeup beautifully without being cakey or dry or anything like that. But it just gives off a nice, subtle, lit from within glow. So nothing too heavy or too crazy, but just about perfect. And speaking of glow, I of course am addicted to the glow life. I love that highlight. And my favorite combination as of late has been the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in Moonstone and I like to apply this just after my concealer along my cheekbones and then down the middle of my face. So my nose, cupid's bow, chin, forehead, just about there. And then afterwards, once I'm applying my powder products, I will apply the Kat Von D Metal Crush Eyeshadow and this is in the shade Thunderstruck. And this is a stunning eyeshadow. It's kind of like an opalescent white gold. It's so, so pretty. And it is just intense. I'm wearing it right now. And you can see, like, it is just glow from the heavens. Like, this stuff is intense. And I can't get enough of it. I have been using it for my highlight, but also for my inner corner, my brow bone highlight, pretty much anything that I can get away with it, I will put this on. For the rest of kind of my base for bronzing, I've been loving the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil powder. And this stuff is their basic kind of chocolate soleil bronzing powder, but this is the lightest shade. This is milk chocolate, so it's perfect for fair girls like me. And I switched to the lighter shade because it is getting colder and it is getting a little bit later in the year and I find that I can't really pull off the darker bronzers at uh, this time of year. So this is perfect because it gives me the nice glow and kind of warmth that I want without being too overwhelming. And for blush, I have two firm favorites and the first one is something that I've featured in a favorites video before. This is NARS Sin, just a gorgeous berry mauve kind of blush. It is absolutely stunning. Let's watch it so so pretty and it just adds like this gorgeous warmth to your skin with a little bit of a berry tone so I'm wearing it again right now I just think it's so beautiful and so perfect for fall because it has that darker tone to it but it's still nothing too dramatic and the other blush that I have been loving is from MAC and it is their sheer tone blush in the shade Tenderling and I actually don't know if this is still available <laughs> So, um, Tenderling is just like a gorgeous kind of mauve nude blush. It's really, really stunning. And it is sheer tone, so it's very buildable. It's a very sheer color, but you can build it up to be a little bit stronger. But I like it sheer. I like just kind of that like nude wash of color with a little bit of life to it that brings life to your face, but isn't overwhelming. I'm a nude blush kind of girl in the fall and winter. I just feel like I want my eyes and my lips to speak and my face to just kind of be there. So. That is why I love this blush. Moving on to eyes, I have been loving two eyebrow products for the past little while. And the first is a go-to, a classic product that I've used for years, but I've really been loving it lately. And then is the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and this is in the shade Caramel, and it's what I use to fill in my brows today, and I really love it. It's just so easy to get nice, thin hair strokes and make your eyebrows look a little bit more realistic, which I'm really loving right now. And then, of course, to set it, I am using my classic, can't live without it, Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade Light Medium. So there are not any eyeshadows that I've kind of been carrying around with me lately because I switch it up all the time. But no matter what, if I cannot figure out what I want to do with my eye look, then I will use <laughs> these three products. 
So the first one is the Benefit Air Patrol BB Eyelid Primer. I like this because it has a yellow tint to it, so it actually counteracts any redness or veins or anything on my eyelids and kind of just leaves them with a clean slate. So that is why I use this. Then I will go in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, and it will create just a really sharp wing. I feel like even if you don't have any shadow on and just a wing, you look put together, but it doesn't take as much effort, and it's okay if you don't really feel like taking the time to do an eyeshadow look. And then I will finish it off with my Benefit Their Real Mascara. I go back and forth between different mascaras, but Their Real has been something I've used since I was maybe like... <laughs> 16 so um, I really like it and I think it gives really good volume and it just does really good things for your lashes and I love how it lasts I know some people hate how stubborn it is but I love it and I don't find it that difficult to remove just a little bit of micellar water will do the trick but I just love this combo it's just like quick and easy and simple and lastly lips I have been kind of obsessed with liquid lipsticks I know it's the trend everybody's freaking out about right now but I'm on the bandwagon and I don't think I'm going to be getting off anytime soon. And along with that, I'm still loving the Moby nudes and the really dark lips, as you can tell. So for the nude side of the spectrum, I have been loving this Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Bachi. And this, God, excuse me. See? Sick. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> This is um, a new shade for 2016, and this is released in one of their holiday kits, just this little mini side. And in that same kit was released this shade, which is the shade Rico. And this is what I'm wearing right now, and I am obsessed with this. This is the perfect, like literally perfect fall and winter color. It's just bold and vibrant and like vampy, but it's still classic, and I really like that. And then the other lipstick that I have been absolutely loving is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Limbo. This is like a dark chocolate brown and I am obsessed with brown lips. Like literally anything brown, I can't like walk away from. If I see a brown lipstick, I don't care what the formula is, what the brand is, if it's brown, I need it. <laughs> And this has been my absolute favorite one. I've been absolutely addicted to wearing it just because it lasts for so long. And I don't find that the ColourPop lipsticks are too drying. I do prefer the Stilo formula. And that's it. That's everything that is currently in my makeup bag. So those are my go-to fall and winter products as of right now. And I really like doing this video. It's kind of a fun way to show you my favorite things without it being a favorites video. And if you really liked this kind of concept, then let me know and maybe I'll do one for every season because that could be kind of fun. And I'd love to see what's in your makeup bags. So let me know down below in the comments or maybe do this video yourself and then let me know that you've done it. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've liked it. Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.